So you're starting to look at TIG welders, but you weren't sure which one will be right for you. I want to talk about the TIG 200 DC, the AC DC, and the digital machines and explain the differences. The TIG 200 DC is a great beginner machine for someone who wants to dabble in TIG welding, but will only be welding steel or stainless. It can weld up to a quarter inch thick and operates on either 110 or 220 volt. It has an operating range of 10 to 200 amps, so you can really dial in the machine to the exact material you're welding. It comes with a standard foot pedal for maximum control, or you can use the trigger on the torch for set amperage welding. The pre-flow is preset at a half a second, and post-flow is preset to five seconds to ensure proper gas coverage after ending your arc. It even has the ability to use a stick welder when you don't want to use gas. Again, this is a perfect machine for someone who wants to get their feet wet, but doesn't need to weld aluminum. The TIG 200 AC-DC machine is great for beginners or someone who doesn't need all the bells and whistles the digital offers. It still has the ability to weld steel and aluminum, so whether you're building a fuel cell for a race car or installing patch panels on your project, this machine will get the job done. If you are working with thicker metals, this machine has the ability to weld up to one quarter inch in both aluminum and steel at an amperage range of 10 to 200 amps. A nice feature of this machine is the ability to run off of 110 volts. So if you're at a buddy's house and he doesn't have 220 volts, you can still weld up to one eighth of an inch thick. The high frequency start makes it easy to get welding because you don't have to master the art of scratching the metal before your weld, and it gives you precise arc control. The unit comes with a WP17 style type torch and accepts common consumables. So if you're working on the weekend and you need some new cups or collets, you can pick them up at your local welding supply store. You can operate the machine with the trigger on the torch head or use the foot pedal. If you're using the trigger, you set the amperage on the machine and it will operate at that set amperage. If you are using the foot pedal, use the knob on the side to set your max amperage and you can vary the power on the pedal depending how far you depress it. The max being whatever you set with the knob. Using the included foot pedal is nice because you have much more control of the heat, which is great for corner welds or thin metal. The settings of this machine are pretty basic and user friendly. You can adjust the pre and post flow, which is the amount of gas that flows before and after the arc is struck. Having the ability to adjust pre and post flow will give you better welds because it will help cool the weld down and prevent contamination. If you are welding an AC, you can adjust the clearance effect, which is basically how wide of an area the arc will clean when you're welding. The TIG 200 AC-DC even has a stick welding option for those times you just don't have gas. Overall, this machine has everything a beginner TIG welder will need and will even provide enough power and precision for some shops. Now the TIG 200 Digital is a machine you need if you're getting into more precise or serious jobs. It has the same capabilities as the TIG 200 AC-DC, quarter inch welding capacity, 10 to 200 amp range, you can weld steel and aluminum, and 220 volt operation. However, it cannot operate on 110 like the AC-DC can. This machine comes with an upgraded rocker style foot pedal, which is standard with many units in the industry. It has a flexible head WP17 style type torch, so you can get the same common consumables, but now you can move the head of the torch and get into the perfect position for those awkward jobs. Where the TIG 200 Digital really stands out is the extra functions you can utilize. This machine has 2T and 4T settings when operating the trigger. In 2T, depress the trigger to start the arc and release it when you're finished. Two touches. In 4T, depress the trigger to start the arc, but it will not ramp up to the full amperage until you release the trigger. Then you can operate the full amperage without touching the trigger. When you are ready to ramp down the amperage, depress the trigger and the machine will ramp down to an ending amperage. Release the trigger when you are ready to terminate the arc. Four touches. You can watch a more detailed video on this by clicking the link right there. The machine also has a pulse function, which basically means you can set the amperage to fluctuate up and down over a set period of time. This is great for precision welding, like on a roll cage or working on edges of metal, but there are endless uses where this function comes in handy. Again, if you want a more detailed video on this, you can click the link right there. The machine also has 20 programmable settings, so if you find a setting you like, you can save it to the machine and easily go back the next time you're welding the same material. To sum it up, all of these machines are great options for the professional or the beginner. It just depends on what functions you find yourself needing on a daily basis. For more information on these products or other Eastwood welders, click the link that appears on screen.